things you must encounter the power that makes for performance can i tell you a majority of what god is going to be doing tonight is empowerment empowerment just placing something on your life placing something on your destiny for some of you adding to what you already have because the validity of what you have is exhausted it's clear in your life now that you have stretched and it is enough more love more power more of you in my life more love more power more of you in my life more love more love more power Man of God, you can have a thousand sermons. You need the power of God to produce results. Genuine results. Can I tell you this? With all due respect, I can tell you sincerely, human beings are not stupid. Nobody will come and gather and sit down to listen to you if they know you don't have anything to offer. Human beings are not idiots. They will not shut their shops, leave their homes, take the risk, fly from one nation to the other. Who do you think you are without the power of God? But when that power is there, to the degree that is needed. Mm. To the degree that is needed. To the degree that is needed. Please look up. In Africa and in Nigeria, there are markets that are designated for certain things. Is that true? There's what we call in Abuja here, fish market. Which other one do we have? We have all kinds of markets that focus on certain things. You cannot go to a fish market looking for material, clothes. You most likely may not find it there. But there are malls that they will tell you this is home for everything almost everything you are looking for they call it a one-stop shop for everything for as long as you step in there you go to large malls like dubai malls you can step in there and literally the only thing i'm sure they don't sell there are human beings anything at all people took out time to intelligently make sure that everything is there when you become like that mall you see that so the sick know that if i come there is something for me those who say i am not sick but it's just still a place for me my life is not going forward there is still something for them all men seek for you you must trust god for an encounter with power let's stop making noise giving explanations wasting help those under the anointing wasting the time of god's people it takes power it takes power to turn dreams to reality it takes power to bring healing to the sick every testimony that you see here is a product of power the prophecy upon your life is power dependent for its manifestation man of god you must desire the power of god genuine empowerment sincerity of heart is good but it's not enough Don't be like the fig tree that has green leaves and yet no figs. What kind of power are you receiving tonight? Number one, the power to get wealth. There is such a thing as the power to get wealth. But thou shall remember the Lord thy God for it is he that giveth thee the power some version said the ability to produce wealth the power to get wealth listen there are ideas that produce wealth there is your value that you turn to products and services and sell it to a targeted consumer base to produce wealth but there is the power to prosper The power 
to get wealth most people have not encountered the power to get wealth most people have ideas that produce wealth most people have skills that produce wealth but you are like that fridge with no light you are like a television that can show different channels but no light more than your skills and beyond your skills it takes the power of the holy spirit why am i telling you this because this is what is going to land on your life this night <laughs> apostle i have a shop but no customers what is wrong absence of power not absence of products there are clearly products there and it is true that your products are needed there are more than enough people for someone to come there but it takes power The gentleman who said he had a dream he had been building and it got to i think zinking or somewhere linter level and it stopped there for a long time the spirit that brings you close to it and yet you never truly actualize it the power to get wealth god is able to bring power god is able to increase people and then let me tell you this one of the assignments of the power to get wealth number one it is a supernatural empowerment that comes upon you and it will draw people it will draw opportunities and it will draw resources to you but you see the power to get wealth is also the power that opens your eyes to see there is a relationship between prosperity and your sight hear what i'm telling you i want to reveal a mystery for you if your eye is blind you will be poor it says lift up your eyes and see as far as your eyes can see isaiah 45 verse 3 isaiah 45 verse 3 Tonight's miracle service was made for you. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness. Question. There are treasures. But the problem is that they are in a place where there is no light. How do you now know that they are there? If you do not have the power to see, you can pass it and not know. If I drop a bundle of money here, cash, and I off the light and make sure this place is dark, you can keep pushing it as many times and yet not see. I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which calleth thee by name, I am the God of Israel, the treasures of darkness. Do you know why God put darkness there? So that no one else will see it until the person appointed. The treasures of darkness. Some of you, by reason of this impartation, you will pass a land you have been looking every day. And this time around, you say, I'm seeing something that no one else is seeing. Every major business today you see, believe me when I tell you, it was a treasure in darkness. It was always there, but the eyes to see. The eyes to see. The eyes to see. The eyes to see. If your eye is blind, you would stand and weary yourself at the gates of prosperity and not be able to see. Can I tell you, if everybody see what you are seeing, they can't reward you for it. There is nothing unique when everybody is seeing. You can't clap for me for seeing what you are seeing. No, but if I am seeing what you are not seeing and I can bring it out and make it visible to you, then you have to reward me for reaching into darkness with that light. The power to prosper can place something on your destiny and you start seeing in a desert, you will see an oasis there because the veil has been taken away from your eyes. Please listen to me. Most of us continue to pass wealth every day, but because of the blindness of our sight, you can sit down and with the eyes to see, God can reveal secrets to you. 
and in one moment look at that gentleman for god's sake he found out that nothing else was working in his life didn't go to school didn't do anything and he just felt lord what will i what can i do and he went to the field do you know there are many football fields he would have gone to the one where his destiny helper is not he would still be playing football but it takes the eyes to see listen when i pray this prayer you will know who to not relate with and who to relate with because there is jonah and there is jesus beware of who is on your boat don't carry jonah in the in a bit to look for jesus Listen carefully. You need the seeing eyes. Businessmen, listen to me. Without the seeing eyes, everything looks like white from a distance. It's until it comes close, you say, ah, no, this is black. The seeing eyes. Satan always comes as an angel of light. There are some of you, the financial troubles you got into in your life is because of blindness. You thought it was this and found out it was not the power to prosper corrects your vision so that you are able to see why am i taking out time to tell you this so that when we start praying you don't just fall and stand for nothing you know what you are receiving the financial testimonies that will arise from tonight's miracle service will bring glory to the name of the lord can i tell you this hear me i'm saying this prophetically you will hear testimonies of nobodies people who as they are standing here they are still surprised by themselves say what has brought me to this realm products of prophecy do you believe what i'm telling you yes sir the power to prosper man of god listen to me if you have the power to heal and the power to do all of these things if there is no power to prosper on your ministry you are going to compromise it's only a matter of time i assure you no matter how much a man of integrity you are the bills of ministry will squeeze you to a point where you will get into things that are not godly there are many people who started well but financial pressure pushed them remember i've taught you the scripture every time there is hunger Israel will go to Egypt to look for food. When Satan wants to take you to...